The 102nd Security Forces Squadron is conducting annual combat readiness task training on Otis Air National Guard Base to ensure the squadron remains highly prepared in deployment operations and tactics. We broke today's training into three phases, a test phase, a mounted phase with the Humvees, and a dismounted phase where we did a combat patrol and land navigation. The first phase with the written test was we gave classes yesterday on both the dismounted and mounted operations. The test was basically to get a judge of where their knowledge was. Uh, their scores will be put together as a team and there's a little bit of a competition here which we find uh, encourages them to do a little bit better. The convoy phase, we went out, we had reactions to improvised explosive devices and unexploded ordnance. We also had a phase where they had to reroute, which helps them think on the fly. The teams are given coordinates to locations around Otis and with only a map, protractor and compass, are tasked with locating and navigating their way to five checkpoints while moving tactically in formation. Throughout the experience had a react to sniper fire, harass and fire, flares, uh, just things that they would encounter if they were on a patrol overseas. Uh, at, towards the end we had an ambush set up, a baited ambush, and it was towards the end so we thought they'd be tired and it was good to test their ability to react when they're tired. And all three teams did really well. All the troops love to get out there and train and, uh, and practice their skills that they've learned in the different technical schools that they've been to. So from a command perspective, it's, it's great. It brings the unit together. This type of training brings the unit together and uh, really uh, the end product is a, is a better, more seasoned troop. Reporting from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, this is Tech Sergeant Kerry Cole.